If you want to see the very first message you have with someone in one of your iMessage conversations, then in this video, I'll be showing you how you could achieve this and there are even multiple different methods to get it to work. So let's get started with this video. Obviously, if you really want to, you can just keep on scrolling all the way to the top, but that's not something we'd want to do because it takes a lot of time. But instead of scrolling up, what you could do is just tapping the upper portion of the screen. Well, the thing is that inside most of iOS apps, for example in the settings, when you tap the upper side of the screen, it'll automatically scroll up all the way to the top. So the first strategy is to keep doing this. You basically need to keep on pressing the top and keep on going to the earlier messages, waiting for new ones to load up and so on. It's probably not ideal as well, but simpler because it only requires you to tap the screen. So that's a good thing to try out, especially when your conversations aren't really long. What you can also do is try to use the search bar inside the messages app. Well, the way it can work is by you searching for some things you said or some words you know you have been using a long time ago, or even just search for some random words like greetings, for example. Now click on the show all button, and this will give you a bunch of different entries and times where you used that word. And the point is that you click on some really old message from that conversations, and you effectively save yourself a bunch of time. If you find a message from two years ago, there's significantly less scrolling or much less tapping the top of the screen to get to the first message. So that's something I definitely try. Now, as you know, there is no button that would get you to the very first message, but there is some software or programs that allow you to browse through all the messages and track everything that's going on in iMessage. And although some of these programs don't really work, you can still go ahead and try some other ones. This will naturally require you to have a Mac computer ready and most likely also having the iPhone connected to it using a cable. So yes, it's much more difficult to actually do it because it needs you to use multiple different things and it's not really that simple, but it's better than nothing, right? So the software you can download for this or the example for such includes iMazing, which is like the all-in-one software for managing your iPhone on the Mac. Then there is the iExplorer one, which again, just helps you manage the data on your iPhone. So I assume that it would work in our situation as well. By the way, I'm not affiliated with any of these companies. I'm just saying what's available and what options we have. Another one called Chatology, which has been really useful and dedicated to just this purpose, has been canceled when macOS Big Sur got launched because of the way how messages are organized in this software. So this one falls out of the equation because it's no longer supported but these were basically all the options that you have. I'd personally say that the first and second one were the best and easiest because they don't require you to download anything or to fiddle with computers and third-party software, but that's about it. Hope this video helped you out. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to the Fox Tech YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you in the future video. Peace out till then.